hey guys welcome back to a new video if it's your first time thank you so much for stopping by don't forget to like share and subscribe and uh, hit the notifications button so that you don't miss on any future videos so today it's going to be my very first first time to do a story time so i'm going to tell you about something i self-diagnosed myself so uh what i'm talking about is this lecture my voice is a bit hoarse because i have some kind of flu so apologies for that so we are going to talk about this lecture i know most of you know about it but do not know about the name uh also i knew i had a problem but i did not know the name so google's description of this lecture is very brutal uh, a general term for disorders that involve difficulty in learning to read or interpret words letters and other symbols but that does not affect general intelligence that i find that very brutal but in simple words this lecture is a uh, attention disorder like reading reading issues if you have reading issues and uh, as i continue to explain let me know if you relate let, let me know in the comment section if maybe you've experienced the same or you can relate because statistics say one in five people has dyslexia a person with dyslexia the information on the left side of the brain takes a little longer than normal to process but on the right side for a dyslexic person it is quite fast so i think my symptoms of dyslexia were more pronounced in high school you know this will be very weird but i have never in my life finished reading a book like a whole book from page one to the last page i have never even in high school uh, with set books many people when i say i have never finished a book before many people ask me what did you do in high school set books and stuff like that i highly depended on uh, you know the class revisions and reading through the book in class with the teacher and uh, in, in my school uh, they usually brought like actors who acted like the whole book there's a story i highly depended on that and like critical reasoning that is what helped me a lot my favorite set book was kifo kisimani it was very small it had very few pages and um it was full of dialogues it was not like paragraph after paragraph so i that i read a little like maybe three quarters or a quarter or but i could follow the story but there is this particular book i cannot remember the name that it but it had a lady called uh, I can book I specifically remember it because I could not go past page 7 like I could read get to page 7 the next time I I come to read again I have forgotten everything I start again so what helped me is a uh, Izo could revise the class kusoma na the whole class Izo ndo tuzili nisaidia da set books so another thing is a uh, mm, my worst performed subjects were subjects that had a lot of notes like history CRE those were my worst performed through high school and my best performed subjects were like sciences maths and art so something with this lecture it makes people very creative so as, as I mentioned uh, before the right side of the mind is very active more than the left side that is why information is processed very slow on the left side of the man or sorry on the left side of the mind so things like reading very slow but uh, on the right side where there is things like creativity that is very fast and um, I went to two high schools so in Butere girls I took art from from one up to from three art was always my best subject and as I was always the best student in in, in art but come to history theory I was always the worst and it was just impossible business all these subjects with a lot of notes it was just impossible for me so another thing uh that i noticed was uh i was quite great in arith arithmetics and arts as i've just mentioned like maths physics chemistry those were my most favorite subjects and then i came to find out that uh the topics that were most difficult in those subjects to many people now those were the easier easiest for me like i remember in maths people used to find probability really really difficult that was my best topic like i could do probability like <laughs> it was my favorite favorite and then in chemistry more concept i remember in my class 
almost everyone was just finding mall concept impossible but for me now that was my favorite but then come to CRE <laughs> I used to get <laughs> it was so embarrassing like I used to fail CRE terribly like even just the basic bible stories I used to fail like I could not read and get the details of it now uh, I could not understand why and at that particular time I was very frustrated about it I was wondering why can't I just concentrate like I cannot read a whole story and just I could read then just forget like when I go to the next paragraph I have totally forgotten about the previous one I didn't know it was something I just thought maybe it was a problem with me or concentration but yeah this lecture it, with this lecture you have a lot of problems with concentration so yeah there's a lot of examples but of course i cannot give all of them in one video sorry it's a bit it's a bit windy and um currently like after high school some of the things that i experienced that have after my research i found out that it's like part of this lecture is uh there are words that i repeatedly spell wrong like <laughs> very simple words like presentation <laughs> as funny as as it sounds i every other day i i spell presentation wrong advice and advice that what i know most people have experienced that but just the basic there are words that any you can repeat urudia urudia but still you will get it wrong also another thing is like i could be writing maybe paragraphs of stuff then i find later that there's i've left half sentences half words and i did not even know like i was just typing and typing and i could go through the paragraph and i still do not see the the mistake but when someone else goes through my paragraph they'll find the mistake so that's also part of this lecture like it's not something really big like but when it comes to serious things like maybe writing a cv cover letter or stuff like that or a, an email you know it could be it could be a problem but of course now that i realize i keep repeating and yeah uh, and avoid such mistakes so um also another thing is my attention span in conversations conferences charge is terrible like i get so lost in in the middle of conversations a lot and especially in long let's say long conferences church i get lost i like brief things i i like even if it's even if i'm watching a motivational youtube video i like the very short ones i go for those with nine minutes seven minutes ten minutes when i start seeing 20 minutes 30 minutes i know for sure i am going to get lost even just the fact that it has registered in my mind that this thing is 20 minutes i'll get lost even at the second like at the second minute more than if i just take a seven minute nine nine minutes i'm able to concentrate on that one so another thing okay um i think i have learned and what i do most is i am always taking notes so every little thing i'm always writing things on the side when i'm watching a video i'm writing notes on the side so that i can just go through them later and then they will register in my head so another thing that i have noticed with myself is that i am extremely forgetful and uh with time it's getting worse uh, i always joke with uh, d my cousin that we should that it's about age and we should be taking b12 but i've come to realize that this lecture is also a really contrib a contributing factor to the same like i could take my phone i could have my phone here so i want to unlock it and do something so by the time i unlock my phone i have i have no idea i have totally forgotten what i wanted to do on my phone like it's that bad sometimes though like i cannot say at my attention is i am forgetful in everything it's just a few things when i have to sing in it, like i'm totally forgetful i could leave the bed to go and do something by the time nashuka is in a bus slippers i have absolutely no idea what i wanted to do i don't know if it's normal ama pe people also experience it like come on experience share on the comment section to discuss <laughs> but now mine you know mine i'm saying is this this lecture cause like if you combine all these things my friends should hear this this lecture affects 
interpre interpretation of time. So the people with dyslexia have a tendency to to be bad in time management. This is not an excuse. I have done a lot of research on this. It is not an excuse, guys. So uh, I'll, I'll just give an example. Like uh, roughly, I can uh, roughly I take one hour from my house to like to town. That is average. Like that is what happens most of the time. So for me, if we agree to meet at a particular time, I will leave my house exactly one hour to that time. Or I know I take one hour to prepare. So I'll wake up two hours so that I take one hour to prepare, then one hour to from my house to town. So personally, I cannot interpret. Usually I do not. I have made this mistake so many times and I've just accepted it. I cannot interpret, interpret the fact that Today is like, uh, let's say today is Monday, I'm at today is Tuesday, like there are those days like traffic Nimbaya. At the traffic Nimbaya, I need to leave like maybe 30 minutes earlier than I should have left. No, I don't do that. I'll just leave that one hour before. I hope you understand. Yeah, so this lecture causes bad time management. <laughs> so this lecture is not all that bad. So I'll tell you guys a few gifts that come with this lecture like a few things that dyslexic I'll, I'll put that word be, I'll put that word below that dyslexic people have yeah we have some gifts <laughs> now I'm saying we okay dyslexic people have a few gifts so number one creativity I know I've said that a few times now so I'll give you a few names of three famous people that you know that apparently they have or they hardly this lecture number one picasso number two da vinci and einstein einstein so another thing is a great ability to be entrepreneurial so it's said that people with dyslexia goes to the same thing right side of the brain very active more active than any the usual person has a great a greater ability compared to the next person to be entrepreneurial so it also gives multi talents. I only know one talent that I have. This is in Guinea. I should find out. Um, also, it is said that people with dyslexia hardly give up on stuff. I think this one is about accepting yourself and realizing maybe you have a problem. I don't know. I'm not sure, but maybe it's something. But if you have watched my previous videos, I have mentioned before that my greatest ability is agility like i never give up i hardly ever give up unless i just want to but once i'm determined with something i am very agile i follow it up and uh, i think it's a great i think it's a great thing maybe dyslexia is not all that bad after all last gift that i name of dyslexic people is uh people with dyslexia visualize the final product as opposed to the whole process let's give an example that you're in a meeting and um, you are doing let's say an architectural project and let's say you are building a house or something like a something creative so someone with dyslexia will be visualizing like the final product how the house will be looking the interior and stuff but any the normal people like our twin guinea they are more probably they will be more probably visualizing the process how they'll get the materials there your kuchorayote like your process yote as opposed to you need the final product so yeah uh, i think in another video i can do the causes symptoms and treatment for dyslexia but that's about it for today as always thank you so much for watching it's always a pleasure let me know in the comment section if you've learned something new if you are a victim of dyslexia if you are not let me know Let's discuss the experiences and let me know if you want to know more about such things as dyslexia and the related issues. Thank you so much for watching uh, and have a great week ahead. Bye.